Καλησπέρα σα, καλοί φίλοι ακροατέ, τηλεθεατέ. Good evening to you. Welcome to Faces again. Another program, not just another face, two faces tonight. Let me introduce you to my guests. Is Mr. Mike Bennett. I'm not two-faced. I'm not two-faced. What do you mean? Oh, I see. I'm talking faces. about another face. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mr. Mike Bennett. Haven't Le seen you since I got back from Cyprus. Usually it's ladies first, but uh, this time... On this occasion. You know, yes, on mm -hmm. this occasion. Good evening, Iphigenia. How are you? I'm fine, thank Iphigenia you. Lukaidu, ladies and gentlemen. And we are here to talk about Iphigenia Lukaidu and uh, LGR Music Awards. She won the uh, first prize. And then we went to Cyprus. We have a very good uh, time there. She appeared in many um, television programs and uh, radio programs. And then we returned and Mike took over. And I want to know what's happened. Well, but yeah, let's go back to LGM Music Awards, Mike. It all started off as a magazine <coughs> program called Another Planet, was it called? Uh -huh. And the LGR Music Awards was a small section within a uh -huh. larger show. Very small. But that became the most popular feature. In fact, uh -huh. we started off between 10 and midnight, the graveyard shift, let's be honest about it. And as the LGR Music Awards became bigger, we got given a better slot, 8 till 10. Uh -huh. And we must have seen five, six hundred different artists come through. We had opera singers, we had folk singers, we had people playing bazookis, we had people playing techno, jungle, drum and bass, mm. speed, garage. It was very eclectic. Yes. The competition was extraordinary. There were people that we took into the think tank, uh -huh. which was our recording studio situation. People that were entering the show were encouraged to be entrepreneurial and to approach us and come up with some ideas. And people that didn't even win have got on and they've been playlisted on radio shows. I have to say, the right person won. Um, I gave my first 10 to this young lady, young here. lady here. Yes. I gave, Talking about the I gave my first 10, yes. and I, I, know I don't give 10s, I usually give 6s yes. and 7s. The right person won. She's full of bounce. She's full of drama, uh -huh. as you know. Because you, you were at the airport. <laughs> she created a drama. My God. Woo! Did she create a drama? <laughs> um, she didn't have a passport because it had gone in the plane. So we went to search for her passport. And, and Peter Costa, with a K, he vanished. He was on the plane. We were rushing around. And uh, Vasily said to me, oh, Mike, Mike, they were, they were calling us to get on the plane. There's an old lady from Hellenic TV. Go and fetch her. Go and fetch her. And I, I, felt I got the wrong lady. I woke up a lady. I said, come on, you're missing your plane. This way. And we're running and Vasily and I are running. And I was carrying this woman's bags. And it was like leaving her at heaven's gate. Yeah, I said, yeah. sorry, sweetheart, I've got to get on this plane. I jumped on the plane. Vasily's sweating behind me. She was sat there. <laughs> she was sat there. As soon as I arrived there, drinking I drinking a to, coffee yes. with the old lady. Yeah. I've got the wrong old lady. O M G. And uh, there you go. What can I do? Yes. She, she caused drama, and it happened on the way back as well. She made me miss my plane. However, <laughs> we've we've used this drama in her work because she is a fantastic artist. Uh, and, yes. And when I realised she was a true artist, I. I went to visit her <coughs> parents. I think I would describe it as up in the mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, and I went into her father's office and I was admiring some paintings, only to discover that this young lady was also a fantastic painter. Oh. So usually when you have a, a gift, an artistic gift, there's usually like three different aspects. <laughs> right? There's an aspect of the performance and the voice, mm -hmm. that's there. There's the aspect of the compositional side, and the third aspect that I spotted, I've never told her this, is her magnificent use of, uh, I think it's probably oil, is it oil painting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely superb. I didn't know it was her, but I found the third aspect. Mm -hmm. So when we're creating, I mean, when you create a record, it's like creating a picture, a piece of drama. Mm -hmm. Each little song is a little vignette. <coughs> and you know, it's like, if you've got somebody that's got a very good visual mind, 
you can you can you can be three dimensional. She will almost certainly be involved in the in the artwork and the way that her video looks mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. Okay. And we've been having let fun just, with her. Yeah. Let me just uh, say something about the LGM Music Awards. I just want to add something. We started. Uh, as a co-producers, me absolutely. And you. Well, and you were uh, the senior broadcaster, right? Yes, but uh, the point the you. point is because we both been involved from the beginning. Yeah. What I wanted to say, just to add this, and I want our um, you know uh, uh, people uh, now to listen, and yeah. uh, uh, you know I want them to uh, know that I enjoy this so much. Well, you know, so did I. I loved you know, every minute of yes. it, and it was you know the right person won. But there were many, there were many, many talented people mm -hmm. involved, yes, yes. and we had people singing a cappella. We had our dramas along mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. The PA didn't turn up once. Yes. Well, it did, but it was your personal assistant. <laughs> you know, I mean, we actually needed a PA, speakers, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, but it was absolutely wonderful. Yes. And the great thing about it is, we haven't just recorded one song. She's been doing a collaboration with the very well-known band Taste from mm -hmm. Ireland, mm -hmm. and they've been so excited, they're remixing her as we speak. Oh, and really? uh, I must actually yes. ask you, what was it like working with Taste without even meeting them? Well, it's an honour that that song is going to go on their album, and it was just such a, a liberating feeling to put myself into their song. But they absolutely loved what you did, and now they've instigated a series of remixes. And it, they've got a single coming out about the Titanic, they want to put it as the bonus track, and have given you permission to use it on your album as well. So, it's a complete honour. Um, the other thing I must say is that I've had a, a deluge of material com coming from her mind. Mm -hmm. She's been in Cyprus, she says, look in your inbox, she's composed something beautiful on the piano. Mm -hmm. and. I've got a little string quartet situation and I've sent it back to her. So we've been doing quite a lot of file sharing. Okay. On the, the recent one she did, her mother makes a very interesting <laughs> cameo <laughs> appearance in the middle of the song. Is yeah. she? Yeah. Okay, um, Iphigenia, what was the best thing that came out of all this for you? Out of the whole competition? The whole competition. Well, there are a lot of little things that were unforgettable from the competition. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of little things, I can't actually pick one. But uh, um, after the competition, I think the trip to Cyprus was something that I'll never forget. And then coming back and working with Mike mm -hmm. and being in the studio, I think that it uh, was the beginning of a journey, this mm -hmm. whole thing. We put a team <clears throat> around this young lady I'm told to call her Jenny. I, call, I think of her as Ifiania, but I'm getting into okay. the Jenny. Jenny is good, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, really, a producer's job is to surround somebody with a team that makes that artist feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I've taken her to Far Heath Studios, so she's now worked with Angus Wallace, one of the best engineers in the business, and therefore, it's, you know, we. we it's, we're raising the game. Yeah. We're raising the game. Unfortunately, I can't just take her down the road at any old studio now because she's going to be saying, where's Angus Wallace? Where's my beautiful Neumann's mic? <laughs> Where is the beautiful countryside, etc., etc." But we, it is turning into something different. We are talking about an album. We have got a vehicle for her. Um, so, you know, watch this space because, you know, we, we, we helped mm -hmm. to, uh, between us, really. We yeah. spoke about it. Small seed of an idea. Here we are, <coughs> sat with the, the, the correct person, the correct Thank person you. one, and uh, you know, here we are. We're on that journey. Okay. Um, I want to find out more about uh, your um, thoughts and your being through the journey. You know what I mean? Who was the most important person you met during all this? Through the whole journey? Yeah. It's again. It's difficult to say. It's uh, you know sort of. I want. I want good answers. You know. Well, it's it's a lot of different people. I mean, to start <laughs> with, if it wasn't for Stella would writing. You like to, would you like to say um, thank you to um, these people or what? Yes, I mean, I'd like to start by saying thank you, a very big thank you, to my very good friend Stella Yoriu. Oh yes. 
for writing me the song Aphrodite uh-huh. and Theodoulos Goulabi and Michalis Mikhail uh-huh. because if it wasn't for that song... That was the catalyst. <clears throat> exactly. Yes. I wouldn't have... Um, you know, entered this competition. Mm -hmm. So definitely a great big thank you there. And then along the way, meeting the judges and seeing how, you know, all the advice that they were giving. Peter Costa with a K. (laughs) Peter Costa with a K. Always with K, yes. Um, Giros Vasilis, Michael, Uh everyone was just, you know, having support and having good constructive criticism is uh, very, very helpful for an artist. And every time you get better. So everyone I met through the whole competition was definitely... Mm -hmm. I mean, the judges didn't always have the same opinion. Peter Costa, with a K. (laughs) Peter Costa... Had a very has a very theatrical bent, and therefore he would veer towards musical theatre or perhaps Eurovision, which is very very. This girl can do all of that. I yeah. tend to veer towards the more esoteric side, yeah. but there's a combination of all of our opinions, uh-huh. and of course, there is the conduit, there is the voice. Yes. That, that will. Well, I think she's going to do the business. That's another question for you, Iphigenia, because uh, you know uh, I want to know more. I want to know how you feel. Has your career changed since you won the competition? Definitely. I mean, from um, having just the dream to actually putting that Mm -hmm. into practice is a huge difference. I mean, it's helped. It's like building a layer cake, (coughs) you know, with lots and lots of different dimensions. Yeah, this was definitely the first step. And now I'm actually working. We're actually doing the album, Mm -hmm. getting things done. It's... Yes. And it's happened fairly quickly as well. And when we uh, did the finals, I heard her singing Stalos' wonderful song. But I also made a little glib comment, really, that I could imagine her doing something in a blues idiom, mm-hmm. something along the lines of The Doors. Okay. And we've created the Behind the Doors EP, which is Jim Morrison through the female interpretation. By the cover girl. Yes, Can we uh, the cover just uh, mention in uh, you know, the competition again, can we just have a break and listen to the song? And can, can we go and see the moment she won that competition? Let's go to that moment. <laughs> OK, then. Let's go and see if Yenia there's, there's more
Ifigenia I've brought Stalo with me this is Stalo Yorio everybody she is the composer of this song <laughs> hello how did that go for you was that okay it was okay it was I think it went quite well yeah you think you did Stalo proud I think so yeah I hope so <laughs> Of course you make me proud, and everybody here. Don't speak up, sorry. Of course you make me proud, and everybody here. Thank you. I mean, you two are close friends as well, aren't you? Very, you very You work close. together um, a lot? Yes. Yeah, you do. Uh, that's beautiful. I love this, you know. Excellent. Anyway, what a moment. Congratulations again, Evgenia. Thank you. For that. Um, working with Mike, I'm sure you're having a good time, and, you know, he's getting you somewhere. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, do you have anything else? Are you involved in anything else on your own, separately? Um, of course, I'm working with different people. <clears throat> I'm still working with uh, Stalo as well. Uh -huh. And uh, You've got a duet with Pete the Greek? Yes, He I was do. in the competition. Yes. He's a very talented uh, guy. Yes. yes. So uh, you're doing some other uh, yeah. work as well? Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Appearances? You you appear anywhere or um, not yet? Not, not yet. Until I think she wants to kidnap Stereo Influence <laughs> for one track on her album. So is this in a you know in your plans? Well, we'll mean? need parental advisory there <laughs> you know, because uh, well they're just young and it may be classified as kidnapping, but mm -hmm. I think that they're up for it. They're they're huge fans of of Jenny. Oh, so. so, what do you think? You're going to have a you know. A, to peer together, to do something together? Definitely. I mean, I like to work with other musicians as well. Yeah. It's always... Because you get a different sound a different each time. Take, a different well. angle. Yeah. You know, you. I think what you have to do... With Jenny, it's quite extreme. She's got a very, very rocky side, and she's got a very moody ballad side. And they're, they're, there's a great diversity in her repertoire. The skill, if I may say so, is to find a through theme that binds all of those elements together. And she's, she's not short of ideas, I can assure you of that, Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. She knows what she wants. You know, uh, I mean, even uh, Peter Corsa has been talking about we have good artists in uh, London, uh, Greek uh, artists, Greek singers and uh, good writers and this kind of thing. <coughs> and, um, you know, uh, everybody's uh, talking about this, I mean, we can always provide Cyprus with a good, um, you know, a piece of work and good singer and all this kind of thing. What do you think? I mean, you hear the new song for the competition for this year by Ivi Adamo. Yes. La La Love. Yes. What do you think? Can I have your opinion about that? Tell me the truth. I um, I don't really have <laughs> an opinion about that. Um, <laughs> I think that they should be, uh, Cyprus should be, be more careful with what they send to the Eurovision because, uh, I mean, uh, lately we haven't been getting through to the finals. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really not sure. It's not really my field. It's not something that... Would you, um, uh, you know, <coughs> I mean, if they ask you, take part in that, uh, you know? Well, it's, it's a big competition. I, would, yes. I think I definitely would take part, but if I lost, I wouldn't really take it to heart. I think the most important thing would be to, to have the right song, to choose the right song. A lot of actors are very, very careful about the scripts that they choose. Mm -hmm. And my advice to any vocalist is to, to adopt that. Mm -hmm. um, I think if, if the song was right, she'd rip it. No question about that. Well, um, me, I think uh, I'm going to suggest that to, uh, you know, uh, the people responsible for choosing the song, that is good if they come to London and uh, have auditions. Yep. You know what I mean? Because I think this is where they can find the perfect, you know, uh, a singer because of the language as well. Because that's my opinion. In Cyprus, okay, they maybe have good voices, but, you know, the accent make it a little bit difficult for those to pass the message. I Easier. think I yeah. think the problem is, uh, Kire Vasili, that um, they this year especially they um, chose a well-known face to go mm -hmm. to the Eurovision. Now, from what I knew, from what I grew up with, the Eurovision was for unknown artists to mm -hmm. get their name out. 
So Yves Adamo is already a well-known no, singer. Yes. Yeah, and they didn't even have a competition. Yeah, but she's known that. to the Greeks in Cyprus <clears throat> and to Greeks in Greece, not to the European, uh, you know, uh, listeners. But she's that. still well-known. It was for completely mm -hmm. unknowns, yeah. that competition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's hope, you know, I mean, they can uh, take it to the right way yeah. and choose the right person and the right song uh, next time mm -hmm. because I'm afraid this time you know I have my opinion yeah and I'm afraid this song is not good enough to go uh, to pass and go to the finals again I think that you because she writes fantastic rousing ballads mm -hmm. and I think as opposed to going for that stereotypical euro beat mm -hmm. a rousing ballad maybe written by Jenny, not necessarily Why her performing. Oh, she should write one. But she's got the voice as well. But these you know, songs, don't forget, these she won the competition yeah, because of her voice. She did, but these yeah. songs, she's right, yeah. she, the stuff that she's writing at the moment, mm -hmm. it's very rousing, it's very, mm -hmm. very heartfelt. <coughs> and perhaps the Eurovision Song Contest needs an injection of that pure mm -hmm. emotion, something from the heart, and not just, you know, I, I love techno. Mm -hmm. I love garage, I love drum and bass, yeah. I love trip hop. I love Euro pop. But, but Euro pop <laughs> is not one of my favourite genres. I did do something for Banana Rama mm -hmm. in that vein. I have worked with Hazel Dean, mm -hmm. but you know, I think you know I'm a bit of a rocker. But I think you know this girl could write a rousing ballad, mm -hmm. and whoever sung it would win it. Definitely. Anyway, uh, before we yeah. go, um, Mike and Ephigenia, can you? Give us more information about your, um, you know, uh, work at the studio at the moment. Okay. Where we stand. I mean, what's happened and what will happen? The team has been, we've put the team together, it, you know. Um, we're going to go and see Judd Lander at some point. He's a, uh -huh. a very well-known plugger. In fact, I think you've got him coming on the show. <coughs> Okay, Judd Lander played with uh, he will come and see Culture Club. There, where you sit. Yeah. yeah, he played with Culture Club. He played with uh, John Lennon, he played with McCartney. So great that if we get a, a promoter, a plugger behind this young lady, and it's somebody who has a musical bent, somebody that comes from that side, I think that's a good start. Mm -hmm. So it really is about not just making a good record, but it's getting it heard and it's all about mm. radio. Uh -huh. It's all about, for me, yeah. it's about getting it on radio. Uh, there, there, there is all this viral marketing and getting likes and mm -hmm. YouTube hits, fantastic. Mm -hmm. But for me, it begins and ends at radio. Okay. And that's where it started, radio, the that's LGR right. musical. Yes. Anyway, how many songs you already did uh, together? We've done four yeah. backing tracks for the for the Doors uh -huh. EP, which is a separate project. Can you explain <coughs> what that project is? Yes, uh -huh. we've got a side project which is called The Cover Girl, mm -hmm. which each album will have a different concept. Like we'll have a Bond album with a James Bond theme, uh -huh. and it will have all the songs of all the James Bond films. Oh. Uh, Hello magazine. Exactly. Okay. So yeah. Vogue magazine, all the Madonna hits. So the yes. Doors yes. Uh, songs will be going under the cover girl. Okay. It's and it's called Behind separate. the Doors. That's a separate entrepreneurial thing that we're doing. Okay. Not to be mistaken for the album, uh -huh. which um, it is in the making as we speak. As I say, quite a lot of file sharing going on. And there's all original tracks as all well. All original, all original tracks. Yeah. We, we may throw in one cover version, mm -hmm. you know, we don't know. We haven't really discussed that, mm -hmm. but uh, so where the ideas are flowing. Our, um, you know, people who are um, listening to us at the moment, where can they, you know, it will be available. It will be available on all global iStores. So we'll start with iTunes, Amazon, HMV, eMusic, Spotify. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, it'll be in about three hundred different stores. So um, you know, all, all people have to do is click on. When are you planning to have this ready? Well, we're in discussion. A release date has not been announced yet. Mm -hmm. We're being quite strategic because we're still discovering the ultimate style of the album. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it has eclecticism going all the way through it. As I say, we, we need to bind the tracks mm -hmm. together so that it's flowing. Consistent. Mm -hmm. An enveloping <coughs> theme. We are uh, looking forward to have uh, a video clip because, you know, here we need a video clip 
to show to the people, yeah. you know, your work. Are you saying that you're going to invite her back on the show once you shot the video? Definitely. Oh, yes. well, that's fantastic. She's coming back to, um, you know, show us the video and to talk about that, you know? Yeah, brilliant. So you're planning to do it, yes? Yes. Well, okay. thank you very much for inviting her because... It's been a pleasure, you know, Mike. You, know, you like, have, yes. you know, been so helpful during the competition and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So much I've agreed we're going to do another one, aren't we? Definitely. So we when are starting we st very soon. When is it? 10th of March? Well, it uh, might be after 10th because okay. uh, we have um, an event that day. You have to finish that. And then when we finish, we're going to plan the dates. And uh, we already have quite a few people uh, I, I, applying I'm for. suggesting that Jenny can come and be a judge as well on the show. A guest judge, yes. A guest judge, she of can course. can be a guest judge, yes. A guest yeah. judge, just a like judge. hop in <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> because we want to have Peter Costa again, you well, see. Yeah, Peter Costa with a C. With a No, a K. Uh, <laughs> what, Peter K, the comedian? Peter so, uh, <laughs> This has been a really bad in-joke <laughs> for the duration Anyway, of the show. I laughed. It was a good joke, Mike. It, it was. Anyway, okay, that's fine. Lovely. So I wish you all the best Defo with Jobs. the project, and I'm sure it's going to be brilliant, perfect really with uh, your very good uh, work, uh, Mike. Thank you very the much. Brilliant, uh, you know, voice and the talent, uh, you know, Virginia. She's brilliant. She's brilliant. She's brilliant. Okay. So you know, um, I always have a problem with uh, you know time. You know, time you, you just don't like saying, enemy. You don't like saying goodbye no, no, to your, I, I, I to I your viewer. No, no, I want to carry on, but uh, what can I do? It's time to say goodbye. Oh, no. Yes. So, but I'm looking forward to see you again. Thank here, you. Okay. Both. Okay? And all the best with the project and all the best Thank with you your Thank you very much indeed. Work, you know, because I know you have plenty of talent you're looking after. And especially this young 10-year-old, I want to bring her here as well. Oh, She's got a brilliant voice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, my God. We'll just get her trained, you know, just to do with yes. catching aeroplanes, that kind of thing. But for, but yeah. for the time being, is Ifigenia Lukaidu, <laughs> the winner of the LGR Music Awards. Thank you, Ifigenia. Thank you. Good being here. You. Thank you, Ifigenia. Jenny, <laughs> I should say. That's it, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. This is it. I mean, all the good things are um, coming to the end. For now, I have to uh, say uh, good night to you and looking forward to see you next uh, Sunday at the same time with new faces. New faces, new faces, depend. So, for the time being, good night to you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs>